Andy, a trip south to Kent this week as we take on Ebbsfleet Ebbs United. How have preparations been for this one? Yeah, really good again. Um, I thought uh, the lead up to the, sort of the Ultradom game, the training was fantastic and it's been the same again this week. Um, you know, obviously we've, you know, players coming back from injury as well now. We've got a good squad to, to work work on things uh, throughout the week. Um, so again, it's been really fantastic in terms of the intensity, the, the, the sort of attitude in training as well and the sort of detail that we're getting into the players now. So um, yeah, looking forward to the game tomorrow. And positives to take from that Ulshingham game, three goals obviously from defence, midfield and the forward line. That's definitely a positive to take going into a game. Um, like loads of positive from that game. I thought we was probably one of our best performances of the season. I thought we were outstanding. Um, obviously frustrating in the end, the way we conceded the goals. Obviously we looked at that this week. Um, but all in all, if we're talking about performances uh, and improving in performances, you know we're getting better and better. You know, one, you know, I keep saying it, but that's one defeat in nine. Um, you know, against some top top clubs. I mean, we've, the two teams we've, we've been beaten since, um, or well, the York game, obviously before this run, and Gateshead are both our top and, and, and top four. So, um, you know, we're getting there. Performances are really improving. Um, Obviously, disappointed with the last two results, so we need to obviously, you know, performance aside, you know, pick, start picking up, you know, the three points to, to keep us in and around the playoffs, uh, which we're very much in the hunt for. So, um, yeah, you know, big game for big game tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, we can build on that performance last week. And obviously, it may be bottom of the league, but it's kind of teams like that that are dangerous and threatening because you never know what to expect, and they could come out all guns blazing. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've had two, you know, positive results recently. Second half of Forest Green. Um, they were really good as well, um, you know. So they're, they're obviously the manager's just starting to get his ideas across, and uh, they've got a big squad, some really, you know, players in there who are more than capable in this league. You know, they've had great experience in this league, so we know it's going to be a tough game away from home. Uh, but if we keep churning out the performances we have done lately, especially last week, um, you know, we go there, you know, wanting obviously the three points. Um, so if we keep them performance levels. Um, where there have been, you know, we, um, you know, we're, we're more than capable of going to win a game of football tomorrow, and uh, yeah, one we're looking forward to. And earlier this week, it was the Birmingham Senior Cup away at Light Town, a two-one win, and more importantly, ninety minutes for Carl Morrison in the tank as well. Yeah, which is brilliant. Um, you know, that was kind of a, the final kind of hurdle really to tick, for him to tick off. You know, don't don't forget he's played what two games in ten months. Um, you know, one of them was the sort of playoff, playoff final. Um, you know, but he's been trained fantastically well. I think that's given him a lot of confidence as well, getting through 90 minutes. Um, but Tippo did really well in that game as well. He's got 90 minutes into his belt. Lab's, Lab's got some minutes. Uh, and obviously the younger ones were, were really, really good. Really impressed with the younger ones, really. Um, so a tough surface to play, tough place to go and play. Uh, but I thought they were outstanding. So all in all, really good, really good workout, really good week. And from that Senior Cup fixture, you get to see the likes of Finn Holmes, who's been on loan at Step 3, and a few of the other lads. What sort of impression did you get from those ones, you know, coming in that have been on loan and playing under your tuition? Yeah, you can you can tell you can tell. Obviously, they're they're improving. I thought Tyler was you could tell like holding the ball up. You know, he's going to have to do a lot of that, you know, where he's where he's out on loan. I uh, thought he was outstanding. But yeah, all of them. I thought the younger ones, um, you know, from from the the elite academy, I thought they were, were fantastic as well. Uh, Malachi, I thought he was brilliant the other night. Um, yeah, really, really positive night for us. And the, the, like you said, the lone lads who have who have gone out and started playing men's football, you can see, you know, they're getting better and stronger every week. You can tell in training. It's just good to see, obviously, in a game as well. So, really, really pleasing night for us. Andy, thank you for your time.